Okay, once you have logged into your SiteGround account, you should see a page like this. Remember, the link to your SiteGround account is siteground.com slash students. And where it asks you to set up an account, you click on that, and then you'll have a login option. Now that I've covered that, this is the first page you will see once you're logged in. As you can see, my name is showing up here. It gives a detail option. And I want to go to my accounts because in this video, what we're going to do is learn how to create an FTP account. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. We did talk about this in class. However, it's good to repeat it. So, uh, the FTP is for transferring your files from your local computer. You need an FTP application software program. What we use in this class and what I strongly advise you to use at any time is FileZilla. It is a free application easily found on the internet just Google FileZilla and it is spelled just the way it sounds as one word file Z-I-L-L-A. Now we want to go to the C panel and to avoid any kind of confusion for the moment let's collapse these let's just close these so we don't see them because most of these are not important and will not be used at all I want to collapse everything other than I want to close everything other than the FTP component so we want to click on FTP account and the way you create one is you can call it main can be for your main site uh, you can call it anything you want let's just say you want to call it HW for homework I strongly suggest you use the same password you used before because uh, that just simplifies things so I'm gonna make mine um, I need to have a capital letter it must be at least five characters 0 M E W 0 R K there so instead of O's I use zeros there now they match and then this tells me which directory I can upload the files for and it's H the, the directory is HW in this case however when I set this up for main as you saw earlier it was my main one and when it's my main one I get rid of that and I just I want to just upload it to public underscore HTML public underscore HTML is a default path that most hosting companies that I have worked with use you have a public underscore HTML folder for your account. Um, I would suggest for you to just make your something like main and just use that public underscore HTML. Then tab over uh, it says that you have an unlimited I wouldn't fiddle with this right here and change that at all and just click create FTP, FTP account account created done and it tells you HW's name of it. That is all you need to do for creating an FTP account. In order to actually use FileZilla the next step you need to take is go to configure FTP client. So you click on this and it says here's my server name. These are all bits of information that you would need if you wanted to manually set it up. However, I'm going to show you a very easy way to set this up. Click on this link right here that says FTP configuration file. Click on it. Right now, let's put it on the desktop. 
now I have this tiny file you saw fast that was downloading it's just an XML file this file is just a text file of type so I hit command spacebar and filezilla well what do you know I actually have it of course so in order to connect you want to go to um, file and import when you import you click on desktop there is only one that's really usable and that's the one that says FTP HW at Michael s1 sg edu etc I click on that and I click open now when you do this please do as I'm explaining watch this because there's a step in here that many do not make and that causes a lot of trouble later actually it causes trouble instantly afterwards so it says what do you want this to contain I want I want everything I want all the site manager entries click OK OK now here's the step I was talking about if I go to site manager it will have what I just installed and I know that because right here under user it says HW at my class and we just created the HW it's not an issue if you follow this through connect okay remember the password is capital H zero M E W zero R K there here it is stop right here make sure you do not hit OK until you say always trust this certificate in future sessions if you click OK without doing this it will tell FileZilla not to trust S uh, SiteGround accounts so then you literally have to either move to another computer um, uninstall FileZilla if you're using your own personal computer and hopefully remove any trace of it then reinstall it and go through this whole process again just so you can check always trust so this is a security step and here's what's called well right here it's called fingerprint another term is called the handshake which says okay I know you you know me and nobody else can get through when I click OK it will connect me and there are my files hopefully you will take advantage of watching this video and following the steps through this if you find it useful please take a moment to let me know because I will make videos for every little procedure that we have to do um, especially a, a number about two or three videos for setting up WordPress even though we're going to do it in class um, in about four or five weeks it's best also to have something to fall back on that is specific to this course versus trying to Google it and find a YouTube that may mislead you because that's not the way that this class is set up so Good luck with this. Once you have it set up, we will use this in class. So, again, hope you take advantage of it. For now, that is all.